Um, well, firstly, uh, you've heard it a thousand times, I'm sure, but amazing movie. Uh, thank you. Thank you. It's thank absolutely you. fantastic. I loved it. Um, obviously, uh, for a lot of you, I think this is your first kind of big film. In terms of the experience, has it been overwhelming at all, or has it been has it been like a great great ride for you all since since Sundance? Uh, well, it was. I mean, yeah, Sundance was overwhelming. The kickoff of the press tour was very crazy, and it was a mad one to kick it off with in Sundance, you know. Um, just movie stars everywhere. Um, just kind of, this was our first time seeing the movie as well. So, oh wow, this is a this this is me and Mark's first time seeing it, you know, ourselves on on screen. So we're sitting, you know, sitting in the theater at the premiere, the world premiere. I'm sitting next to Sting, you know, Mark Sting. Sting. Yeah, Mark's wow. like to my left, <laughs> and we're just like, you you know, what is going on? Was, we watched the film, and it's just it was just that was crazy. That was overwhelming to the point where. You know, we didn't even we didn't even care that Sting was sitting next to us. We were just like in such a place. I was, where, I was we're just in this home. world. I was like a dream because I was in, I was in college. But I was just like <laughs> refreshing Twitter the whole time and could see what people were writing about, it yeah. and I just went. Whoa. Like yeah, it was, it was really to to kind of especially considering there's nobody really known in, in it mm. like among the young cast. So to 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 have people compliment mm. us, it was nice. So, yeah. Is he a big fan of the movie as well, Sting? Have you had many like, I think so. celebrities I think, say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Rita Ora. I asked Rita Ora. He shed a tear. He shed a tear, didn't he? I think we played Ting. Yeah. He shed a single tear. We played a Ting. Sting. Ting, man. We played a song and uh, apparently Sting cried. Yeah, wow. he shed a single tear. If I don't know, One I don't tier. know how true that is. That it's sounds. Is Sting ever sees this? In the left corner, left corner of his right eye. Maybe not. Do you perform at Sundance as well? Yeah, as part of the we performed was, after the screening, was that and then we did a little gig as well. Was that nerve wracking for him? Was it just <laughs> that was nerve wracking actually? Yeah. We didn't. We were just like the, a week before, and we were like, "What are we gonna do? Like, we don't really know how to how to play that well together." And then we're just like, "Ah." Well, you started rehearsing. We had kind of yeah. I mean, it was grand. We just went for it, you know. It's good fun. It's great. No, no, I, I'm gonna show my age here because I was born in 1982, so I'm I'm 82. much older than you are. Was it in terms of like the 80s stuff? Have you, did you have to do a lot of research, or did John give you a lot of stuff to kind of look at beforehand? Or? Tons of music videos, loads of music videos, just like... Because you can sit more on YouTube now, right? So you can just sit oh, on YouTube absolutely. for like a whole day watching... Absolutely, that's what I did. Every day, talking heads, watching their live concerts, over and over again. I knew all that stuff, I love the 80s. Yeah, so Mark was I like just looked up the London skinhead movement, that was about it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> practice headbutt in the mirror, that was about it. Practice headbutt, yeah. Right, right, yeah. It was, yeah, it was, I, I, I was trying to get used to wearing an eight, 18 hole doctor to the knee. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, because, you know, I. Oh, they looked uncomfortable. I, I never turned a punch in my entire life. And so, to, uh, to in, in a school like Sing Street, which would have been, you know, uh, not lawlessness, but it wouldn't have been uh, the most easiest school in the world to be a sensitive kid, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah. you know? and, uh, so, to, to, to play the kind of apex predator uh, yeah. when I couldn't <laughs> be further from. It was actually a, very I, being I actually I actually you know I enjoyed pretending <laughs> to punch someone five years younger than me more than I thought I would. It's quite fun actually. Yeah. It was good. In terms of you as uh, doing the music and stuff like that, were you? Well, obviously I know you didn't particularly get involved, which must have been hard for you, I guess. In terms well, of I'm doing musically it. challenged. He really to, <laughs> but he kept getting involved, and John was like, "Barry, yeah. you can't get involved." Was Barry can't get involved. Dance in the lane, I see. He'd come in, he'd be like, "Hey, shoot a musical, yeah? Let's like, get in on the." <laughs> Were you, all, were you two musical beforehand? Did you play music? In yes. Band and stuff yeah, like that? we were. We were music. Uh, music. We were music. <laughs> we, were, <laughs> we were musicians, and uh, well, I was. I was just going in the music direction. I never acted before, so it was just kind of bizarre. And in this, but um, it was great because it has that, you know, beautiful. Yeah. You know, There's like a crossover. A cross, huge, a huge crossover. Because I was the opposite. I I had acted before. Never really done any music. Well, I, I still didn't do any music in the film, but I was exposed to a lot of music. Yeah. And I can play one song on the. You can play Falling Slowly. I can play Falling Slowly on the Yeah. I, I learned it to please John, and he then said, if I hear that song one more time. Yeah. And DB so, Extra, then I guess. Blue Ray Extra. I, you know, yeah, no, I, I am, I am mu musically not very talented. <laughs> I've tried to learn the two or three brilliant. times, and I just don't have the mentality for it. It's so difficult. I don't like, and that's why it's all the more impressive watching these, because I, I, I've heard the songs for about two, nearly two years now. And to know to, to be in the, the presence of those songs long before anyone else got to hear them, and then when among my own friends when it came out, they were going, "Oh, drive it!" You know, drive it like you yeah, And I was yeah. like, "Yeah, I know." You know, uh, but uh, no, they're, they're they're 
Yeah. Marcus. Going into a music shop with Marcus because we're we live quite close to each other. Oh, okay. So uh, Marcus kind of like a distracted like dog in a way because he oh and just goes in and I'm <laughs> oh I don't have three hours, Mark, because he just stays in there indefinitely. He doesn't leave. Yeah. You can't make him leave either. He doesn't leave. Don't let him leave. If you pull him out, he's But it's like we have somewhere to be. Just one second. No, one. I always feel bad at the end as well. Cause I'm always like, oh, could I try like a top down or yeah, to take it down? And then, like, oh, you think I'd buy it? Nah, it's fine. Have you bought some since? You've been on the shopping spree since? Uh, I bought it, yeah. Oh, yeah. First thing I did after Sing Street, bought myself a spanking new guitar. First thing I did was bought a Fender Mustang. Was it a long process for you guys in terms of like, when you first heard or read the script so it was told about the film was being made and like auditions and stuff like that was it a long process for you to get cast it was long enough was it? actually it was like a good like we it was actually pretty long wasn't it it was before summer it was around this time of year when i did my first uh, audition for it even earlier um and then uh they didn't choose until september they didn't decide that it, it, they really wanted me until august like early august so i mean as john said when i you know when he saw my tape he was like he knew he wanted me, but it took a while for them to let me know. <laughs> I suppose they didn't want to tell He's you. making you wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was cast. Yes, that happens. In tradition. I, I did. I, I did an audition quite late. I think. I think they were struggling to find. And um, oh, class. Um, oh, class. And, <laughs> Sorry, I just had to get out. No, and uh, uh, I, 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 for me, I did the, the audition, and the phone rang the next day, and signed seal delivered, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's nice that Sorry. Wayne's world yeah. <laughs> we, we went about that life. I hate the motion and stuff, you know, I hate yeah. free advertisement. Yeah. I am so mad. Jeez, I need some coke right now though, guys. A refreshing that is so now. refreshing. Wolf Gone. <laughs> Coca Cola. That is so sorry. refreshing. Were the music videos the most, I know we'll say it again, you're sitting there, you're not involved in them, but were the music videos, they must have been so much fun to Oh yeah, to so much yeah. fun. Drive like stuff especially. There was a great bit in Drive It that they didn't edit in, and I was hoping they put it in the music video. Which when you grab, when you walk in, you like do you kiss a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, you, and then a, you take the mic. We, we actually shot. Oh, that was really good. We shot like two, two in, full days, and I walked in with like a martini glass and a cigarette, like a cigarette, you know, like a, a long cigarette or something. Yeah, and, and you I, I kind of jacket like, again. And I wore, I wore like a leather jacket, and I smashed really. the glass, and I grabbed this girl, and yeah, and he this. takes and he takes the mic. Now that and I think like, about it, what was that about? That was that was class. I just grabbed a young woman for no reason. Yeah. And then you took, and we uh, took our mic and they just flicked it back up. Is that you were going to do that? I told her. Oh, okay. Because I think that it was, t- I'm gonna was in order to get a genuine reaction out of her, they were like, don't tell her. And I was like, if I'm going to grope a young woman, I'm going to inform her first. <laughs> I don't yeah. Um, but uh, no, these guys were much more involved in the music video, so yeah. So much fun. That was so class. I've uh, seen day, the Riddle and the Model one like at least 20 times. Oh. But it's only a small clip on, on YouTube because you can't obviously come watch the whole yeah, channel, but yeah. the, the clip is quite, quite short. Yeah, so like I watch it too every day. You, you see the film? Yeah, 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 yeah. The fans at the end. Yeah, fantastic. I was, yeah, because I didn't see the film until about probably three months after these guys. Yeah, and it was great. It was so good that. in Sundance, like, because everybody, the way people engage with a movie like that in Sundance is totally different from anywhere else. Like, they literally, it's like a, it's like it's happening on stage. You know, it's like, yeah. a, it's like everything, something happens. Everybody's like, oh. And everybody's like, oh, did you see that there? <laughs> and then, the and then something, got the and they got just a big round of applause after like a big scene Cowboys. or something. Oh yeah. my god, it's great, magic. That was like, so yeah. good. That's genuine what Carl's like. Like the character. That's literally Carl. That's, 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 that's why I think like, like, like the cast and director Louise Kylie just deserves like so much credit. Like where's yeah, the yeah, yeah. band yeah. who plays Darren the manager? Like the gems of, of lads that. that where did she get Ben from? Where did she get Carl from? Where did yeah? Where did Carl's parents get Carl? You're saying they should have put subtitles on the screen. Ben was on the scene because his accent was so <laughs> well, he, had to, he had to go back and re-loop almost all of his audio because yeah. in the in the meantime he, it, his voice broke oh, and so he came back and he was I mean he was, he was he's, he's six inches taller than me now well so was everyone but um, <laughs> so Freddie is Freddie is, I can't punch him now because he's, he's I'll punch you back sorry dad no. where do you go from here <laughs> what have you got you got next because obviously this is it you, I'm sure a massive tour. Just You've been uh, in the US really enjoying this at the moment. You know, um, got a we, we as you said we just came from the US like a week two weeks ago. We finished our two weeks in the states, mm-hmm. and we've just been crazy busy with Sing Street. Um, just you know playing music. I for me I've so many so many options at the moment. You know, I just have to kind of sit back and be like, what to do next? You know, because mm-hmm. I mean I just I'm in such a good place and yeah. I can just you know. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do next year. Like I'm just school. I'm still 16, so yeah. No, but I, I, I'm 
So many options. I'm in a great position. Well, I'm 21, so I'm a little bit out, but I, I'm slowly <laughs> dealing with the reality that I'm probably not going to make it as a dancer. So, uh, so I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to yeah continue on and, and hopefully get the opportunity to do more. And, yeah. What, what come what may. Must be strange for you as well, because obviously the, the whole experience of being out for what a year, two years with shooting, and you're now obviously getting the film out there, but you kind of don't want it to end. I'm sure you all obviously yeah. bond, bonded quite closely and yeah. stuff as well. Oh, I, I think that's the most remarkable thing. Is I, 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 I've only been in one feature film, but I don't really know of any other where like the cast kind of film and then break up and then come together for the premiere a year later or whatever, but we have all stayed in contact religiously. Like, yeah. Every week at least we stay I know, yeah. Bizarre. Hang out, we hang out, 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 hang out all the time. Ever, I'm Sorry? sure there's not a sequel in this, you know, talk about sequels and stuff, but would you... Yeah, as long as I get to keep, if I get to keep my hair, same lines, yeah, yeah. definitely. If I get to keep my hair, I, I, I think I might do a sequel actually. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I mean, I'm not into sequels, but if they said we're shooting a sequel, sequel, I'd jump on it. Like I'd be like, with all the cast, with all the lads. It was, yeah. it was the same. No, totally. like the band and all, Just for the crack, even if it wasn't. Great, but John you know, sees like, this now, there, John. John, John. looking at you. Bye. Tell me. Sing Street Two. Sing Street. Sing Street. Commissioned. Sing Street 2, this is called. Or maybe This is 21 Sing Street. Sing Street 2. 21 Sing Street. Music Yeah, yeah. I do. We'll be doing this till we're eighty. You do the time. <laughs> yeah, Broadway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, gents, it's been absolutely amazing. Great. Yep. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks so much.